Now the question is prove that tan hyperbolic inverse x equals to half log of 1 plus x upon 1 minus x with the domain of x is lies between minus 1 and 1. Okay. Now let's consider tan hyperbolic x equals tan hyperbolic inverse x equals to y. Let's consider okay. let y equals to tan of hyperbolic inverse x. Okay. Is implies what is implies if I am uh, multiplying ten hyperbolic on both side, what I will get? I'm multiplying on ten hyperbolic on both side. I will get ten of hyperbolic y is equals to ten hyperbolic inverse and ten hyperbolic get cancel. I will get x. Okay. Therefore, x equals to I can say x equals to ten of hyperbolic y. Okay. So, is implies I can say x equals to 10 hyperbolic y. What is 10 hyperbolic y? Okay. 10 hyperbolic y is what? Sine of hyperbolic y upon cos of hyperbolic y. What is sine hyperbolic y? In terms of e, okay. In terms of e means e raised to e raised to y minus e raised to minus y upon 2, okay. And upon 2 and this cos hyperbolic 2 will get cancelled e raised to y since cos is there plus will come e raised to minus y upon 2 and upon 2 gets cancelled. Now let's multiply this two. Okay. Is implies or you can say we'll solve one way is equals to here one uh, this is same as e raised to y minus what is x raised to minus m is what 1 by x raised to m. Okay, therefore e raised to minus y is 1 by e raised to y. Here I can write 1 upon e raised to y upon e raised to y plus e raised 1 upon e raised to y. Okay. Is equals to taking LCM e raised to y the whole square or you can say e raised to e, y, e raised to y into e raised to y is e raised to y whole square or you can say e raised to 2y. Okay minus 1 upon e raised to y and here e raised to 2y plus 1 upon e raised to y okay now e raised to y e raised to y gets cancelled what we have here is x okay is implies now x into this okay x into let's cross multiply is implies here x into e raised to 2y plus 1 is equals to e raised to 2y minus 1 is implies here what we have x into e raised to 2y plus x is equals to e raised to 2y minus 1. Let's collect those terms which you have e raised to 2y. Okay, here we have e raised to 2y, here we have e raised to 2y. So if I take e raised to 2y common here x minus 1 will come. Okay, I am bringing this side. Okay, and let's bring another side here, here minus 1 and this minus x will come okay therefore e raised to 2y is equals to i am setting this minus 1 minus x upon x minus 1 let's take common over here x minus common if i take my minus common then what will get 1 plus x okay if i take minus common over here here uh, what i'll get here 1 uh, let's see minus minus plus okay here minus one minus minus plus okay minus minus gets cancelled what i have one plus x upon one minus x this is what my e raised to two y okay now we have e raised to two y we have is implies we have e raised to two y is equals to one plus x upon one minus x okay our m was our m was to find the value of y why because our assumption was let y equals to 10 hyperbolic inverse x is implies 10 of hyperbolic y is equals to x. Okay. Now our m was to find the values of y. Okay. Therefore, taking log on both sides, what we have log of e raised to 2y is equals to log of 1 plus x upon 1 minus x log n log n e gets cancelled what we have is 2y is equals to 
log of 1 plus x upon 1 minus x. Now sending 2 down, therefore y equals to 1 by 2 log of 1 plus x upon 1 minus x. Okay. Now here, what is domain of x? Domain of, of okay, what is domain of x? Okay. Now over here, we need to get the values of log of plus over here. Okay. Therefore, the, the values of x should lies between minus 1 and plus 1. Okay. Therefore, the values of mod of x is less than 1 or you can say it should be lies between minus 1 and plus 1. Okay. This is the, this. Okay. Therefore, why is this? What, what is y? Our y was 10 of hyperbolic inverse x equals to half log of 1 plus x upon 1 minus x. Okay. This is the required proof. Okay. This is the required proof for this.